All right, Pisces, let's do a reading. This is going to be for the next 72 hours, all right? Next 72 hours for Pisces. Today is September 20th, so the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Let's get three cards, please, for Pisces. Into the smoke, we release all energy. That does not serve us. All negativity that surrounds us and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right, three cards. What does Pisces need to hear at this time? The next 72 hours. Show me what's going on for Pisces, please. Oh my gosh. All right. Pisces. So we have the owls. more please two more for Pisces let's go on for the next 72 hours thank you the bridge hmm. for some of you guys well, somebody may be uh wanting to bridge the gap so if you're at a distance from somebody somebody may be wanting to bridge that gap you may be receiving a message here within the next few days Maybe somebody's wanting to move or relocate to be closer to someone. All right. One more, please. So we have the letter and the lilies. I'm going to take them. Ah, and you got love on the bottom. Pitiful Pisces. What is this about? This looks like a love reading. This looks like a love reading, Pisces. I hope it makes you smile. <laughs> okay, seriously though. The owls on this card also indicates communication, but usually of less frivolous nature. Owls may be sharing their own wisdom or urging you to listen to what your elders or learned friends may have to say. Owls may also be telling you to look for other important signs around you. Okay, so... Someone here may be seeking out wise advice. Also pay attention to spirit animals, your intuition as well. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you. Just seek out the answers you are searching for, Pisces. What are you searching for? All right, so the bridges. Near, far, wide, or narrow, step, steep or straight are some of my traits, but in whatever form, I am your connection to places, people, and points in time. I can span the spaces that separate you, or I can shorten the distance that bring you together. All right, so number 30. Uh, lilies. Calm, peace, and serenity is what I preach. Your parents, your elders show up under my symbol, symbol. I bring wisdom and experience. I signify a long-term relationship or ancestry. Contentment and satisfaction is my angle. Hmm. And then number 27. So there's a lot about wisdom. Ancient wisdom, I just heard. Um, hmm. Someone may also be getting like messages through synchronicities you know you could be scrolling on something online and see something that triggers something or you know i'm <laughs> this is so random i'm also getting you know when like you uh are talking about something and then that something shows up in your feed and you're like oh, fuck, you know so i don't know i don't really necessarily know but sometimes i wonder if our fucking phones are like tap <laughs> you know I, let me know if you guys have ever had that experience like you're talking about something with your friends and your phone's in your pocket and then later you're laying in bed scrolling on your phone like that same subject to something like pops up in your fucking feed and you're like how the fuck anyways number 27 i am a document i am a message i am information i am a package sometimes i can be an invoice or a certificate or a test result 
You can find me as your mail, a newsletter, and or an award. Look around me to find out more about what I'm leaning toward. And then we have, excuse me, number 24. That's what is around in the lilies. So you could even be see, receiving... Um, Okay, uh, all right, the form of happiness and love is simply drawn in my shape. I am your feelings and your emotions. I am your passions and devotions. Just make sure no bad cards are around to spoil this fondness and affection. I don't see any bad cards around here. Okay, guys, so I don't know if, uh, I don't know what this is. I ha Sorry, I keep getting like messages, but I... I don't like this view. I really don't. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, sorry guys. Come back. I don't know. Whatever. It's going to work for now. Alright, let's do three cards to clarify. I, I, I'm... Okay, I'm going to try and put out what I, what I keep getting. It's like, I don't know if this is like your grandparents or somebody's dealing with somebody who's older or this is an older couple. That's why I'm going to clarify. I'm I'm going to give you guys the messages. I just don't have them completely, okay? Can, so those of you guys that like to comment and say silly stuff. But can we clarify this reading spirit? I don't want to, you know, give you guys the wrong information or just speculation. So I'm going to wait till I have the full message and then I will tell you what I was pondering on there for a moment. Let me get, all right. So distant horizons. Yeah, something here is coming in. I feel rather soon. This is a reading for the next 72 hours. So number 36, 38, 30, 27, and 12 may be significant. Privileged lady. All right, so this to me is like my Nine of Pentacles card. So privileged man, privileged lady, whatever. Somebody here may see someone as a, someone may be traveling. This could be two more. Wealthy man, okay, and thief in reverse, wanting to show itself. High honor. One more. And wealthy man coming right back out in child. Some of y'all may be having a child with a wealthy man. Okay. There could be a wealthy man who's sending or receiving a letter here. Um, or getting some type of test result, a document. Okay. Letter K may be significant. So you have a wealthy man and a privileged lady here. Somebody holds somebody in high regard, high honor. Somebody here could also just be someone who's very wise, older, an old soul. But there's like some type of message coming in and I feel like it's uh, around, surrounding love. I'm going to use a different deck. Actually, let's use the Rider Weight. Okay. Spirit, what else do you want to tell Pisces about this read? What is this Owl's card out here for? at this <laughs> i'm making that shrimp cocktail again the one that i forgot cilantro for last week i'm still trying to find meals that are easy to eat with braces and that's like a bunch of chopped up vegetables and you know a little bit of protein some shrimp and some crab so i'm making that again and i went to the store yesterday and bought everything and fucking forgot <laughs> the clamato juice like the main fucking thing so yeah i gotta get these readings out but uh I gotta go get that juice because I'm I'm having a friend over 
for dinner and <laughs> so I definitely have to make it. Okay, anyways, I don't know why, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have interrupted your reading, but it was just on my mind. I was like, I'm gonna do, <laughs> is what led up to it is I was like, you guys let me know what angle you guys like the camera at the most. I know some of you guys like to see the cards, some don't. I know the glare isn't really helping, so we'll figure it out. But anyways, I was like, oh, I could put the camera over here now that I moved my desk and I could do it a different way. And I was like, oh, and then I was like, I'll do a bunch of readings and you guys can say which angle looks best. And then I was like, I can't do a bunch of readings because I got to go get that Clamato juice and then I got to go get some stitch. I, I was like, I got shit to do, you know, but anyways, okay. Now that we got that out, <laughs> let's get back to your reading. Sorry, y'all. Show me this Owls. Why is the Owls card here? King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in the Tower, Scorpio Energy, two cards I'm not going to take, but uh, King of Pentacles could be from a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. There's going to be like a, I, I almost want to say like a sudden proposal here, y'all, like Someone may be popping the question, what, what, what? Okay. Like someone may be wanting so, something that is committed. All right. With this King of Pentacles. Is someone gonna pop the question here? Oh no. Or there's like a sudden opportunity or something that comes in that you didn't expect. Some money, a gift, could be from an earth sign. I think I'm going to keep that or Scorpio. There's some there's OK, this is going to shock you. Whatever this is coming in is going to shock you. If it's not like a proposal, a commitment, um, moving something up, leveling something up. This is like a business idea or a new opportunity, a promotion, an award. Oh, that's why we got that letters card out here. Promotion, award, scholarship. Somebody's going to receive something and it's going to be a good opportunity. It's from the divine. I like it. Show me this bridge here. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Show me this bridge and the Queen. What the fuck? Okay. I don't even know what to think of this now. So I got the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and Seven of Swords. Oh. What? So the Seven of Swords, I don't feel that, like it's shady. I just feel like somebody's sneaking. And if this is like someone sneaking around, because Six of Wands is like success and victory with the Queen of Pentacles coming out and this King of Pentacles, this is like, I feel like someone's doing this, like someone's, you know, not telling, like someone's being sneaky about something, but it's going to be, somebody may even be like saying this publicly or like doing this online or, um, someone's sneaking around here. But I don't feel like it's in a bad way. Someone's like sneaking around. Uh, someone may be like traveling or just like. I feel like a pop up energy. Like popping up on someone. This is going to be like made public or something. Yeah, someone may be like, someone's doing something secretly though. What are they doing secretly? What are they doing secretly, Spirit? If this isn't like a proposal, this is like, the full card. Yeah, somebody's like taking that leap of faith. Someone's okay. Someone's going to do something spontaneously. Like 
I kind of like this energy. Show me the lilies, please. Five of wands. Okay. Hmm. Lilies, please. What is this lilies? Hmm. Two of cups, eight of cups. Somebody may be like walking away from one relationship or walking away from conflict in order to have, because the lilies talks about peace and harmony. Somebody may be like walking away from some type of conflict or drama. And I don't know why I was also picking up if there's like family drama or family that doesn't agree with something that somebody's doing, that could be why somebody's sneaking and doing it. Okay. But someone's walking away towards their wish fulfillment. When you walk away from eight cups, you're going towards your nine of cups. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment. Again, with the moon in the background, they're, they're doing so possibly in secret. I don't know. They're walking away from some type of drama, walking towards their nine of cups, wish fulfillment, which is some type of a partnership, a, a, a relationship. Huh. Show me a wealthy man. This could be a wealthy man. With the King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Is this wealthy man? Someone may be leaving a family behind. Or, or this man could just be unhappy about something. Someone here is getting some type of enlightenment and like ghosting something that does not make them happy. That made them feel stuck. Whatever that is, it could be family. I was picking up on that. If there was like some family drama or family didn't agree with something here, someone's walking away from that. Like someone's, um, someone's been very quiet doing some self-reflecting. It could be this wealthy man. This, it could be a Virgo or a Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but that's the energy showing up. Um, somebody here may be ghosting like an unhappy I'm getting like this is family, like not and not like wife and kids, but like brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins, I don't know, something to that nature. Someone's been doing some self-reflecting, going within, spending some time alone, getting the clarity that they need. And they're not happy. So they're ghosting it. Show me the distant horizon. Someone's definitely like... Okay, Distant Horizon, Death Card, Six of Cups. Yeah, someone's leaving the past behind. Scorpio Energy Strong, Ten of Wands. That caused a lot of burdens. And this is going to be happening soon. Somebody here is putting an end to something in the past or it caused them a lot of burdens. Somebody could have been carrying baggage, carrying a lot of weight from something in the past. And they're deciding to end things, change, transform a situation. Tens are endings. Death card is also an ending. And it has to do with past energy. And that's happening soon here with the distant horizons. Show me privilege, lady. Ace of cups. Oh, shit. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This privileged lady could be a little bit closed off, detached. This could have been somebody who was, you know, divorced or unmarried. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Does not have to be. This could be you. Could be anybody. Show me the privileged lady here. But there's an offer coming in. Ace of Cups. This... Ooh, Queen of Cups. Yeah, it could be you. You could be someone who's very loving, very nurturing. You have a lot of love to give, very intuitive, but you're also very intelligent. I was picking that up somewhere. You could be like someone who's very wise. You know, you've been through a lot of shit. The Queen of Swords is the Queen of Swords because she's been through a lot of shit. She makes head over heart decisions, cuts out people, places, and things that no longer serve her, and that's why she's being blessed. Okay? 
this privileged lady is about to receive a love offer or, you know, some type of a blessing. Maybe for cutting my ears ringing, cutting out people, places, and things that don't serve her, standing in her truth, speaking her truth, but also coming from a place of love. Show me high honor. Show me high honor. The world card and the magician. Somebody here has manifested success. Somebody here is, is held in high honor. Somebody may also do something on the internet or the World Wide Web, or someone may travel or do something globally. But someone here manifest literally the, the world card can talk about closing out a cycle. The world card can also talk about a success, you know, uh, achievement. Um, in the magician, Virgo, Gemini. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Give me one more on this high honor. Somebody here has manifested success. High honor. Seven of Cups. Somebody may have also manifested some type of an ending that caused a lot of confusion. What is the Seven of Cups? I'm a little confused about that one. Ten of Pentacles. Someone here could have like a lot of just a lot of fucking options when it comes to like money. Someone have may, may have multiple streams of income. Many different talents. With the magician card, this is somebody who's very skilled at what they do. They have all the tools that they need to create whatever it is that they want and they desire. With the seven of cups, it's like this person has a lot of options that can build legacy success oh shit this is like a badass reading show me this um the letter what's this letter oh ten of swords eight of pentacles somebody king of cups is here now king of cups pisces cancer scorpio someone may be having to end a job somebody may be finding out that If there was some type of an ending or a betrayal in the past, someone wants to put in the work, okay? They want to bring love back into the situation. This person has a lot of love for you. Someone may want to be rebuild a love situation or maybe wanting to put on the work, like work on something after some type of an ending and a betrayal. I don't know what that has to do with the letter. Show me the Ten of Swords. It's like um, somebody may be sending you a letter. You may be receiving some type of a message here. And for some of you guys, this could be someone maybe finding out that something else has ended. Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. Somebody may be re somebody may regret betraying somebody, or somebody may be like crying, feeling betrayed about a work situation. Maybe somebody got rejected for something some type of a job or that they really fucking wanted like five cups four cups is nine cups so wish fulfillment you know a little more the wheel whatever it is it was faded it was meant to happen that way Somebody may like also really, really love what they do, but they may be re receiving some type of a message here that like something is over. But if this was like a temporary job, somebody may have been doing something that was temporary that they really enjoyed, but they may be finding out like it's over and that could cause them some type of sadness and betrayal. Like if someone was putting in a lot of work for something here.
Somebody may also be taking a break from some type of work situation. Something to do with time. I don't know what the hell just vibrated, but something did. Time, yeah, something about time may have ran out. Time is running out. Interesting. I don't know. Time may be running out to like put in the work and build on something here. I don't know what this is, y'all. Okay. I'm sorry. I gotta figure this out. Where are we at? 26. What is this uh this ten of swords spirit the queen of cups in the reverse it's the eight of pentacles the hermit virgo pisces cancer scorpio this wheel holy shit okay I'm gonna just call it like I see it yo <laughs> yo I don't know where that came from <laughs> Okay, this looks like a situation where someone who may have, like, ghosted you, left you out in the cold. We know it's Mercury retrograde. I feel like somebody, this wealthy man, there could be, like, a wealthy man or you could be the privileged lady. You could be the wealthy man or the privileged lady. I don't know who you are in this read. But um, this looks to me like somebody who ghosted a situation or... Maybe even family due to like family drama or conflict or something. That person's now coming back like, or the, okay. This person's coming back to like propose. When did this two of swords go out? Whatever. Uh, someone doesn't see this coming, like, period. Um, whatever's going to happen here is unexpected, I feel like. Someone may be coming back to propose, to take that leap of faith. Someone may be sneaking off from one situation, going back to another situation that they ghosted. However, I feel like someone here has manifested success for themselves. They've let go of some type of baggage or they're putting an end to something in the past. And this person may come back and find out like that they can't come back. <laughs> like someone may be rejecting somebody here and deciding to close the cycle once and for all. Take that how you want, guys. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ten of Swords, Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone here is like having... Like major breakthroughs, opportunities, and someone has been watching, feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back, now wanting to come in and step up the game after they were being shady, playing mind games. Now they want to heal the situation. Okay, take whatever side of this you're on, Pisces. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. Um, drop a comment, smash that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.